Hey y'all, this is Krista, CNJ's Homestead. We're gonna do a little walk around. It's been a minute. This is our Betty Cage. We just got finished with a hat. She didn't go so well, so we bought some Bitties, and then I had some Bitties I got at the auction. And so they're all in here together waiting to go to their next pen. These two little guys in here got a little roughed up in the hat, so they're in the what I like to call ICU area. All right, let's go outside. Right here, we have my collared garden. These are all collars. They've lasted the whole entire winter. Oh, this one right here is a broccoli. I just took the heads off of it yesterday and gave them, they had flowered a little bit. Decided not to save the seeds because the plant itself was not great. So, there's my purple cauliflower over there that Jim doesn't want to eat. So, I'm going to give it to one of the animals. Over here, my peas that are struggling but still surviving. And over here, we are growing Brussels sprouts. Still not sure what they're going to do. They've made it all winter. Uh, it's a beautiful day in northwest Florida. Some more collards. All right, let's go over here. Uh, over here, I've got my garlic. You can't see it with all the grass. But y'all, I'm so excited to share with y'all what I've got. So, I think in my last video, oh, that's my herbs. That's the oregano, the everlasting oregano that just will not die. Everything else is kind of dead looking, y'all, because we're at the end of a super cold snap. So, look here. This is my puppy. <laughs> this is puppy. He is a beautiful meat rabbit. He is my buck. He is my buck. And he is going to be wonderful. He is super duper sweet. Docile. He's going to be a good good provider for the farm y'all for the homestead so his name is Wilson but his stage name is puppy he's a mixed breed he's a champagne de Argent and I think Rex not sure um, anyways and over here I have his girlfriends Anne and Nancy ha 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 they are sisters they are Rex, full-blooded Rex rabbits. Also very sweet, docile little girls. As soon as I get done with this video, I'm gonna come back and feed y'all. Yes, I am. This one is not as sweet as her sister. This is Anne. I got her first. Uh, she is not as nice as Nancy. Nancy's a sweet baby girl, and she's almost all white. She's still considered a tricolor because she does have some spots on her. And she's a sweet girl. Y'all should just, oh my gosh. I'm going to turn her into my emotional support animal because I just want to touch her all the time. Her fur is even softer than puppies. All right. Hey, I'm going to come back and give y'all some food in just a minute. These are some cages that I got on Marketplace for 20 bucks a piece, y'all. This is my this is my raised bed garden that just has never worked out. So I decided to make it a, a rabbit tree for right now. Uh, all right, let's go out back. This is my lemongrass that is dead and we'll come back. We need to cut it. And this is my bay leaf that every time I make soup, I come cut a leaf off. Here we go. Welcome to the jungle. That's us right here. All right, this is our water system. Coming along pretty good when we remember to turn the ducks water off. That's what we use to water <laughs> our guys back here. And man, this has changed since the last time I did a video for you guys. Still got my Rudro's pin right here, my Ceramas. His family has grown. Rudy, that's my Rudy right there. 
And Miguel, his brother, was supposed to be Brenda. That turned out to be Miguel. And then these are three little guys that I bought in Milton. I think they're hens. Uh, this is juvenile detention. This is where my grow outs are. I need to come in here and check on them. I just moved some out here yesterday. Uh, these are all growing out. Over there, I got some French black copper morans. I got a Duclay and a bunch of little ceramas. And then over here, I got some lavender Orphingtons and some lavender Americanas. And there's several different ages in here. I got a couple mixed breeds. Uh, Nina, if you're watching this, these are your little ceramas and that little brown one that we both loved so much turned into that little frizzle and he's as cute as he could be. Yeah, very cute. And those big black ones are the Morans I got from you. Now that barred rock looking thing is going to be an Easter egger. She came out of my hatch. And then this guy right here, if he won't turn around, Eugene Levy over there is definitely an Easter egger. He's got puffy cheeks. I'm hoping that he's going to be a rooster like I think. And I'll have an olive egger rooster. Did I say Easter egger? I'm an olive egger. He is copper moran and americana mixed so it's my juvenile detention and my biddies that i put out here yesterday did really good made it through the night no sweats no sweats at all so next door to these guys we have our leghorn and orphingtons that we scored from the auction lavender orphingtons that's fred i don't know where his girl oh there she is there's wilma over there on the corner i haven't named my lavenders yet because i haven't figured out what they are they're neither laying nor crowing so it's still a waiting game for those guys although i did see i did see fred getting special with one of them back up ladies back up back up and uh, so at least one of them is a female. Um, these are my general, general hens. I got a black Australop. He's an Easter Egger. I got a Well Summer over there. Some Rhode Island Reds, Americana, some Bard Rocks. I got Lily, my little Franken chicken over there. Nobody knows what the heck she is. And then in here, I have my best friend, Marshall. Marshall, what's going on, dude? How's it going? Y'all, he never gets off this thing. He stays up here all the time. So we put his food up here. Oh, he's gonna fall. Hey, buddy. He's a sweet little guy. Sweet little guy. And this guy right here, I traded I traded another rooster for him, and he is an Americana. But Foghorn, Cogburn, Fog, Foghorn, Cogburn over there, that's what that rooster is. He don't like him, so he beats him up every time I try to let him out. It's really, it's unfortunate, but he'll get his own pen. The Lavender Americanas are his girlfriends. That's his family. Jim, getting that feed on, getting that feed on. Now, here's the fun part that y'all haven't seen yet. Y'all heard me. I said I was going to get some goats. Well, I wasn't kidding. Here they are. <laughs> this is, this is Duncan. Hey, Duncan. And this is Robin. They are goats. They are Nubian. Mini Nubian. Nubian, somewhere in between. Oh, goodness, Robin. Why you gotta do me like that? Y'all get back here where I can see you. That's Duncan. I don't have any snacks for you guys today. I've been bringing them squash every day. They love it. Uh, and then our ducks. Our ducks are finally out, y'all. I love them. 
They hate us. They still hate us. Uh, but they are so cool. These are called khaki Campbells. And I have three males with the green heads. And then two females with the lighter color heads. And look, this one, this one right here, she's got these little eyeliner stripes. She's got her winged eyeliner on, so she's a diva. I have to call her Beyonce. Yeah. I haven't decided which one of those males I'm going to keep yet. I'm not going to keep all of them, I don't think. I think two of them are going to have to go to freezer camp. Because I need some duck fat fries in my life. All right, look at Duncan. Isn't he pretty, y'all? He's a weathered male. He's, uh, his job on this farm, his job on this homestead, basically, is to eat the underbrush. We have had them for not quite two weeks, and they have already stripped this completely clean, and they have made short work of this was so thick you could not walk through it. Just... A week and a half ago okay welcome goats the goats are taking the place of the dr brush mower that we cannot afford and at the rate that our money comes in which is very slowly uh we're never going to be able to afford one so the goats cost me about 350 dollars, which was an excellent deal for two newbie and goats and they will do the job of the three thousand dollar hey what are you doing she did it again, she did it again y'all she is mischief back up robin back up robin back up get back move duncan i'm, I'm trying i'm trying okay move move you move you move get back go backwards no you're going back go back Go backwards. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. She's a good girl when she does what she's told. Yeah, she's a good girl when she does what she's told. Yeah. Yesterday I put this right here and it kind of deterred her. Turned her a little bit. Oh, y'all. It's a. I ain't got nothing in my hands for you, dude. I don't have no squash today. I don't have, he's coming with your food. Hey, yeah. throw me some of that scratch or something over here. What? Throw me some scratch or something over here. I need that. Well, I don't have no. Oh. I need to feed them first, I guess. <laughs> right? <coughs> because they're fussy. Now back up, you spoiled brats. I gotta take care of, let me take care of those more. Okay, I will, <laughs> I will do this. Look, you pigs. I should have known better than to come in here empty handed. I should have known better than to come empty handed. Now look. Look, sister, we gotta get him going first. Here, come on, sister. Right here, Robin, right here. Robin, 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 hey. Here, then you take this one. <laughs> I don't know, y'all, they eat out of the same damn thing. I really don't know how much feed I'm supposed to be giving them, but shit. They're always hungry. All right, well, I don't know what y'all are looking at. We're gonna call it a day. <laughs> Peace out, y'all. Farm Tour 2022. Uh, see y'all later.